Hi, and welcome back to How Inez Rolls. It's summertime, and if your family's like ours, there's a lot of kids at the house. Sometimes we have friends over. Sometimes we're going over to people's houses. And I have a quick and easy dessert or snack that you can do. And you can involve your kids in the process. It's so fun, so easy to get them in the kitchen. Plus, today's video is a collaboration, so I need to get started. So today's video, I'm collaborating with a 16-year-old food vlogger named Emmanuel. And a little European t uh, country called Luxembourg. Now, I didn't really know where that, what, where that was, but I, my dad's out in Europe right now, and so I wanted to make sure he knew where that was. So, so fun. But today, we decided to do, um, he's doing something with Rice Krispie treats, and I'm making something called Cowboy Bark. Now, if you haven't had Cowboy Bark, Trader Joe's has it, and I've purchased it many times, and every time I go, I think I could totally make this. So I'll show you here. So one of the things, I have all my ingredients back there and you might have most of the ingredients in your kitchen anyways. So let me show you what those ingredients are before we get started. So I hit the food bins at the Winco to get a couple of these items like some almonds and some peanuts. And of course we were out of pretzels. But everything else I pretty much had. So some Oreos, some candy melts. So you can use, it's gonna call for dark chocolate and I had this so I thought I'd use it with a little bit of this added into it because it's 16 ounces, so that's 12. Okay, so I did have to get the Heath bar. But you know what, if you have candy Heath, that'll probably work too. And just a little bit of sea salt because we'll sprinkle that on top. And um, okay, so I got those as well, or I had those in the pantry and I'm like, boys, just a little bit, you know, or I'm gonna I'm gonna need it for a recipe, then you guys can have it. So they've pretty much devoured it and left me what I needed. I should have been the other way around. As we're getting everything ready before we start, one of the first things the recipe calls for, which will be at the end of the video, is parchment paper on a cookie sheet. So we have that ready. Um, so I have, I'm just roughly chopping the ingredients. Ezra's here to help me. Hi, Ezra. Gonna show them what we are gonna do with the pretzels. I'm gonna crunch them. I just kind of go like this. Break them up, you do it. So while he's doing that, I wanna tell you a little bit more about Emmanuel. So he reached out to me and I was watching some of his videos and he's got some good stuff. Got it? Let me help you. He's over here sampling on everything. So he's got some great recipes on his uh, channel about like churros and chocolate cakes. And, and I can't believe he's 16. So it's almost like having my son on the, I mean, he's just such a sweet guy. So he's going places. So you wanna go check him out. After I'm, you're done watching my video, head over to his channel and show him some love because I'm sure he would love that and I would love that too. So he is, like I said, making something I think with Rice Krispies. And we're trying to break these up <laughs> to make our cowboy bark. So next thing I have to do, now that we have everything ready, is melt some chocolate. So I have my chocolate in here and I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the milk chocolate. So use what you have. It's great with dark chocolate. But if you don't like dark chocolate, use milk chocolate. So that way, I mean, you're making it and catering it to your likes. Also, as I'm chopping up these, um, these nuts back here, Ezra says, um, I don't like those because I'm allergic. He's not allergic. So <laughs> I actually make, I made this as a, um, a present for my brother-in-law because he really loves like this salt and sweet crunchy thing. So I made this for their family and I wrapped it up really nice and then it was part of their gift. So it's very versatile. I mean, it could be a, a present, it can be a treat, it can be something we take to like the Phillips house. That would be fun. So let me get this melted. 30 second, 30 second intervals. You don't wanna scorch it. So let's just get that going. Once the chocolate has melted, it's all beautiful. We're gonna just layer everything on. So this is really easy, like I said. Uh, you already saw that Ezra was in here, but if you have older kids, they could probably do this all on their own. They would love this. It's a little hot, so they just that's the only part that you probably have to watch out for is that the the chocolate gets a little bit too warm, but that's okay. They can do that and maneuver. 
get your help and then do the rest. So we're just gonna spread this out and then we're gonna add everything on like in layers. So we're gonna start with the bigger items first. So this is kind of the base. And when you go to tr uh, Trader Joe's, you're probably getting maybe half of one of these broken up in a bag. So you're gonna get way more if you do it yourself. So that's why I like this recipe. Plus you can cater it to your needs. So if you like um, raisins, I put raisins in it or cranberries. Super fun to do your own. So we're gonna start, like I said, with the bigger items. So here's some pretzels. And then it's gonna be the cookies, the Oreos. We're just trying to make sure it covers everything evenly. Okay, so I would rather have more Oreos than I think than pretzels. But if you're more of a pretzel person, load it up on more pretzels. So there's that. And then we have the um, the toffee crispies, which Ezra thought were more um, nuts. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's candy. See, we have toffee here, peanuts, and almonds. So. Definitely want more of the sweet. And then some of the nuts. Now, come on, this is super easy, right? And it's gonna be super cute. Like, I mean, it's beautiful when it, it's broken up. Not really like cute, but you know what I mean. It's gonna be, um, it just looks beautiful. And then when you're all done putting all of these things, you're gonna put a little bit of sprinkled sea salt, just a little to enhance the flavors. So this is looking and smelling wonderful. Yum, yum. So just a little bit. I'm just gonna do a few pinches. Should I do it like that guy on the internet? Just kidding. So what we're gonna do now is just let that sit there for about an hour, I'm gonna kind of press things into it. I do see that I have some open spots, so I'm gonna go back over it, and I have a little bit of leftover on the on the plate, and so I'm just going to go around here, make sure everything is covered. Time's up, and now it's time to cut into that yumminess. You can see I took it out of the pan, and it's like one big, long block. So I need to start chopping it up and start eating it. So it's better to rough chop it, but if you have kids like me, then they're like, you know, he got the bigger piece. <laughs> well, and so I'm just cutting it into squares. But you can do it however you'd like to. But this is awesome. This is a really easy dessert, like I've said, and um, it'll be going on that little plate there. I was even considering sending some over to a neighbor friend, but I don't think it's gonna last that long, but I'll make a special batch. Ooh, look, I just made a little piece for me. Mmm, perfect. Sweet, salty, crunchy, chewy. Well, firm up and it won't be as chewy, but I might even just let it sit there for a little longer, maybe put some in the fridge just so it can just have a, a much harder base. It has been about an hour, but we live in the desert, so it's pretty warm. So um, I love it. I know you'll love it too. I just wanna say thank you for watching my videos. And it's been nice kind of coming back into um, filming again with some food recipes. So I was kind of, I was so grateful to Emmanuel for asking me to, to collab with him and uh, do another recipe because I love doing them. The last couple weeks we've been doing a lot of vlogging, it feels like, so, which I love doing too. That was fun. So if you're new around here, welcome. I hope you like what you've seen. Give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe because I love cooking. I like to do some fun things with uh, cleanings and organizing and creating and desserts and cooking recipes. We do lots of fun, easy, uh, quick, tasty things, and we'd love to have you along for the ride, so to say, right? So after visiting or after watching my channel, head over to Emmanuel's, tell him I sent you, show him some love, 
I mean, he's 16 years old. How cute is that? So show him some love and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next.